Hey nesters, welcome back to Nesting Haven. Today we are doing some more thrifting my home, going through some inventory that I've had from my antique booth or just some stuff I have thrifted or yard sailed that I have yet to list online. So today's theme is going to be dogs and cats. It is mostly dogs, I don't have too many cat items because those sell a lot quicker for some reason than the dogs, but we will go ahead and get into it and I'll share what I do have. This first item I did put in my antique booth. It was in there for about a year. And it's this really nice vintage paint by number of these Cocker Spaniels. It is in a nice frame here. They sell for really good online. So I did opt to go ahead and list it now. I don't have my antique booth any longer. And I feel someone that's going to get this, I feel like with dog people, it has to be a specific dog breed when they, you know, want to purchase something like that. So someone that has Cocker Spaniels will definitely enjoy this. And like I said, they go for pretty good. So probably about $45 with shipping included. Next up is this really adorable Basset Hound Piggy Bank. It does have the plug. I don't often find them with the plugs, but that was still in there. And this is just a nice little hand-painted ceramic piggy bank. The slot is there. It's in really good condition. It's probably from around the 1970s. And I like that it's a nice little mini size. A lot of times when you save change, you kind of don't want to just like save a ton of it, right? You kind of want to cash it in, especially for little kids. So this is perfect for young children. You know, if you do chores around the house and they get coins for it, it's a nice way for them to be able to save up money. So very cute. And this guy will probably go for $22 with shipping included. I decided to go ahead and hang up the paint by number there behind me since I usually have it lined up here as I'm doing the haul and that wouldn't obviously sit up straight so I thought that'd be kind of cute just to set there. Maybe I'll leave it there until it sells. <laughs> I kind of like it. The next item are these cute little set of vintage Japan dog figurines. They are very unique looking and the fact that they are painted you know a little different. They have a yellow black and brown over a nice white. So I think they're really cute, kind of playful and a really cute size there. They are marked made in Japan on the bottom. And these are probably from around the 1950s. So these are probably go for about $18.99 to $22 with shipping included. You guys might remember this guy. He has been listed before and he dropped off on Etsy. When you list items, they only last for four months and then you have to repay to relist it. So this guy had been in my other folder. He was one of the first items I listed and I had never put him back up. And I've been trying to go through those, making, you know, locating everything, making sure I still have them. And if I think it's worth relisting. And this guy I thought was, I thought he was really cute. And he only had one issue. He has the tiniest little paint chip on his neck there, but it's hardly noticeable, especially with all the spots. So I think he's still great for anyone that likes Dalmatians. And I just really like the way he was painted. So he's a nice little hand-painted ceramic piece. And he should go for about $18.99 with shipping included. This is something I had put in my antique booth that didn't sell. I thought it was really neat when I picked it up. And I believe what you would want to use it for is just to kind of set spices on. It is kind of, you know, you could set maybe soap on it, like hand soap to dry or put it by your kitchen and put your soaps and, you know, dish soap and stuff on it. Super cute if you're into cats. And you can bend the hinge hinges a little bit here just to adjust this because it does fold down like that. So you might have to, you know, bend it a little bit just to get it adjusted to your needs. But I think it'll be okay how I have it here. And yeah, so I think that's super cute and should go for about $22. The next dog up is this really neat chalkware bookend. And it's in this poodle, of course. So the other neat thing about this, it has this little pen holder there, which you don't find those in bookends too often. So I thought that was really cute. Has a little bit of wear to it on the edges as, you know, chalkware, vintage chalkware usually does. It's hard to find chalkware in perfect condition, but it's super cute. Of course, poodles were really popular in the 1950s, along with Scotty dogs. Those were like the dogs they used the most in decor. Let me know in the comments below as we go into commercial here, what your favorite dog or cat breed is. And I'll let you know mine when we get back. I hope you guys all left a comment below with your favorite cat or dog breed. For me, cats, I don't really know the breeds too much because I am allergic to them. I had a cat when I was super young, you know, my parents did, 
and I haven't had a cat since then. A funny story though, when I got with my husband, when we first started dating, I went over to you know his mother's house and she had a cat and we had only dated about a week and I'd been going over there, you know, quite frequently and I started developing like watery eyes, you know, kind of itchy eyes and my sinuses were kind of acting up and I was like, I don't know, I think I'm allergic to you. I don't think I can date you anymore. And I didn't really know at that time that I was allergic to cats and then it kind of dawned on me. I'm like, oh, actually I think he suggested, he's like, are you allergic to cats? I'm like, I don't think so. I had a cat when I was like four, but I mean, I'm, I guess my parents never knew I was and it turns out I was because anytime I was around a person that had cats and they, you know, kind of have it on their clothes and stuff, but I'd start having the itchy eyes and stuff as well. So turns out I'm allergic and so I probably will never be able to have a cat. I know there are some hypoallergenic ones out there, so in the future maybe I could try one of those. But my favorite dog breed, I've always personally had mutts. I've had three different dogs in my life. They always have been mixed breed. But if I was to get a thoroughbred, I really like the way Bert, or the Bernese Mountain Dogs, I think that's how you say it. I love how they look, they're all fluffy and cute. And I really like Australian Shepherds. I like that for some reason in that breed, they have two different color eyes a lot. They'll have a blue eye and a brown eye. And I always thought that was the neatest thing, so. One of those two dogs would probably be my go-to. We will switch over and do a few of the cats I have to offer up. This was in a grab bag I had purchased at Goodwill of various Christmas ornaments. And I'm not sharing the Christmas stuff right now, but I spied him when I was going through stuff and I was like, oh, that'll be cute to add in. People could use that in their window or anything like that in the summer is like one of those sun catchers, kind of stained glass looking Siamese cat here. It's very cute. I think Siamese cats are really popular in the 1950s as well. So I thought he was kind of nice. I saw other ornaments of this style listed on eBay for $12 plus shipping. So I think that is, you know, a fair price for what it is. It's really unique, a pretty good size, and I'll probably sell it for the same. This here I did thrift about a couple of years ago. It was in my antique booth, never sold. And again, I think it's just a matter of finding the owner of a certain breed for something to sell. So this is a Dachshund and you know, otherwise known as the wiener dog. I don't think anyone ever calls it anything but the wiener dog, right? <laughs> I used to never be able to pronounce Dachshund. I think that's how you say it. But I used to just call them dash hounds or wiener dogs. So very cute. It's a nice little wooden cutting board here. It does have a little bit of lift there. There's little clear pegs on the bottom. It's in pretty good shape. It has a couple of little scratches on it. Nothing too serious. I think anyone that is a fan of this type of dog would definitely enjoy it and I should be able to sell it for around $28 with shipping included. This is one that has fallen off my Etsy shop. It is something I put up around Christmas time and it's just this cute little boy's best friend statue. The dog is pulling at the little boy's jacket, not wanting him to leave the house. And it's just super cute. So this was put out by the Nicholas brand and it's called Hanging Coat. So yeah, this will go for probably about $22 and it will give it one last chance on my Etsy. I do have one other cat I was able to find and I really like the size of it. It's a good weight and it has this really nice color to it. It is kind of two-toned or maybe even three-toned with a little bit of black there. And I just think overall it's a really nice cat. If someone happens to have a cat that looks like that, it would be really neat. But if you just like cats in general, which I feel like a lot of people do, I think someone would definitely enjoy it as well. So it's a nice, cute little size, little mid-size one, and it should go for about $22 with shipping included. I found this willow tree figurine in my thrifting stockpile. I hadn't done anything with it yet. I've always done really well selling willow tree items. I used to sell them here locally a lot. And I loved when I could pick them up for super cheap and people would pay about $20 for figurine. I don't think they go for as much as they used to, but they still go for okay. This guy here is going for about $14 plus shipping. So I'm happy with that. I think I paid a couple bucks for him. And he is going on eBay since he is from 2008 here. So it's just a nice little boy and a dog. Again, it seems to be a running theme with dog figurines. So boy's best friend, man's best friend, super cute. 
This is a nice vintage Japan redware pottery dog. And redware is always my favorite for whatever reason. I just feel like it's a better quality ceramic. They seem to hold up really well. So I thought he was kind of cute here. He has some glazed brown paint and then it has a little bit of white paint around it just to give it a little bit of color since it is such a dark figurine. But yeah, I think he's super cute and he'll probably go for about $16.99 with shipping included. This is another really neat cat figurine. I like how he's crouched down kind of playing. And yeah, he's really got some nice coloring going on there with the white. It's kind of like a grayish white with some black throughout it. It is made in Brazil and I think it's a really nice piece. It has just a little bit of a, I don't think it's a nick, it's more like a paint chip on the ear. It's very minor. So I think he will still do pretty good and I think he'll go for about 22 to 25 with shipping included. This is another item that I'm going to go ahead and renew. It dropped off my Etsy and I was surprised this did not sell. I thought it was really cute. I love that it has the wooden books and it has this wooden sleepy cat on top. It's kind of, you know, a little bit different for decor. It look really nice on a shelf. You know, some people struggle with knowing how to decorate shelves and I think this is a perfect addition to solve that problem there. So, and it should go for about $22 to $25 with shipping included. All right, before we head into the next commercial break, I have another question for you to answer in the comments. Let me know what the names of your cats and dogs have been, either, you know, past and present, and I will let you know mine when we get back. Welcome back. I'm looking forward to reading through all the comments to see what you guys have named your pets. I'm fascinated with the names. I don't know why. I just always have been. So we'll start with the one cat I had when I was a little kid. It wasn't really my cat, but, you know, I did have it. And that cat's name was Pumpkin. My parents had got it around Halloween time for my older brother. And I ended up kind of taking to it as a kid. There's some pictures of me kind of having him in, in a headlock and there's a couple other pictures, but I barely remember him, but I do remember him a little bit. He was like, I think they called him a tiger cat. I don't really know what the technical term of cat he was. It was like a kind of a black spotted and gray style cat. And then I've had three dogs. My childhood dog's name was Mitzi. She was a, I think like a coyote wolf style mix with something. She was very beautiful. And I had her until I was about 13 or 14. She passed away like the day before Thanksgiving. We had to put her down. She had like kidney failure. She couldn't be like really walk and stuff. And that was pretty traumatizing. Uh, a couple of years went by and I think my freshman year in high school, we decided we wanted to get another dog and we went and I picked up my second dog. His name was Boomer. He was a like a pit bull chocolate lab mix and he was pretty fun. He didn't live super long. He lived for about eight or nine years. And then I didn't get another dog until uh, my husband and I purchased our first house and we actually got two dogs. So I said I had three, but I had four dogs. <laughs> Uh, I still have two and the dogs I have now are French Mastiff and Pug Mix dogs, a weird mix, and their names are Max Wolf and Yoda Fritz. I named the middle names after the American Pickers. I was really into that show when we got them and I just thought it sounded cool. And yes, we do call them by their first and middle name, mostly when they're in trouble. <laughs> so yeah, those are the names of my pets and I look forward to reading yours. These here were the first things I ever listed in my Etsy shop and I am so surprised they have never sold. I thought they were the cutest little cats. They are these vintage Japan little white cats. They have these pom-poms here, which I thought was a really nice touch. Nobody wants them, I guess. I think they're super cute. If they don't sell in these four months, I'm just gonna keep them because I like them and I can't really have a cat anyway, so maybe they can be my cats. <laughs> But yeah, I think these guys should go for about $18.99 to $22 with shipping included. We have this little guy here next. He is kind of crouching down, being playful. He's a little vintage home co figurine. He normally would have came probably with a couple other ones in his style. You know, they kind of do look alike, but they have different poses. But I do just have the one here, so I'll probably list them for about $10.99, $12.99 with shipping included. 
This is what I was talking about with the home co figurines. So we have a set of three here of Basset Hounds, I believe is what they are. And they have different poses. This one's laying down. This one is just kind of sitting there and this one's scratching his ear. <laughs> so super cute. I do have the set of three listed for I think 26, maybe $28 with shipping included. <laughs> I think this guy is pretty funny. I like the expression he has on his face. Again, I think it's a Basset Hound. Apparently that is very popular amongst knickknacks. And he was made in Taiwan. The made in Taiwan stuff tends to be around the 1980s, like late 70s and through maybe the early 90s. I have found, my guess he's probably from the late 70s, early 80s, and he's super cute. And he'll probably sell for about $16.99 with shipping included. This here has been kicking around a while. I think it's been about three years since I've thrifted this. I had purchased these, there was several of them. They had dog, like cut out wooden dogs like this in I think two or three different dogs. I think it was a Newfoundland and I don't remember the other one. And they were all like this where they had the type of dog spelled out, which I thought was the neatest thing. It says Jack Russell right here and then it has the you know dog that it is. And I had purchased some, I think there were like army and masonry like cutouts like this. They were like little shields and I've sold all those, but this is the last man standing here. I don't know if people don't have Jack Russell dogs or what the deal is. I think it's really neat. And if I had a Jack Russell, I would enjoy it quite well. I'm gonna list it again. It didn't sell my antique booth. It's gone through a round on Etsy, but we will try it one more time and see if it will go. Next up are these 101 Dalmatian figurines from Disney. They are a ceramic figurine. And I don't really like a lot of Disney movies, to be honest. I didn't really watch much of them growing up. And I've tried to get into them a little bit as I've had children here. I did watch the 101 Dalmatian movie. I actually enjoyed that. So that was a good movie. But most of the Disney movies, it's just, they sing so much and it's just, it's just not for me. <laughs> So I don't know, but I did like this movie. So I find these really cute and I think someone will definitely enjoy these. So these will go for probably about $25 for the set of three. I do have some magnets from the 101 Dalmatian movie. We have this one here. He's kind of crouching down and kind of pops out at you, which is really cool. These ones are the same thing here. They are a dog in the dog house. So there's two of those and then we have this guy here and he has the little dog bone as well. I have two more that I'm throwing in with that set just because they are Dalmatians. So this one here is just a plastic one, kind of your basic Dalmatian. And then this one is a ceramic and he looks like that. Again, he comes out a little bit like that, has some 3D-ness to him. And I think, is that a chip? I don't know if that's, no, I think it's just slanted down. I thought he had a chip on his ear, but, oh yeah, he does on this ear here. So I had this listed as me just throwing this in as a freebie because of the tiny, tiny chip on his ear. But I am listing those all together, I think for about 18 to maybe $20 for the full set with shipping already included. I still have this available in my Etsy shop. It is this cute little dog here. You can use it as a little bud vase or a pen holder. I have a pen right here, so you kind of see how it works. It sits in there pretty nicely. You could put probably about six pens or so in it, but it's super cute just to set on your desk or you can use it on your shelf for decor. I have them listed for $14.99 with shipping included. This guy had fallen off. I listed him in the winter time and I feel like this is something people would put out in their yard, you know, the garden as some kind of like a garden statue. So I'm going to go ahead and give it another try now that we're going into the spring summer gardening season. This is a some type of a spaniel dog. It is a hand painted ceramic piece and I did pick this up in a yard sale last fall or last summer and it has a dog's initials here but you could always change that out pretty easily if you didn't like it but i think he's super cute to put out in the flower garden as a nice little touch of whimsy this summer 
I have gone ahead and relisted this guy as well. He is a really fun bookend here with a milkman, has a little doggy trying to nip at his foot as he's delivering the milk. And I just thought it was super fun. I know for a lot of people, it probably brings back some nostalgia that grew up having a milkman delivered the milk. And hey, we could probably use that now <laughs> in the current circumstances that we're in, right? That would be kind of interesting. That seems to be the thing we're running out of most and having to go to the grocery store that we're trying to avoid at the moment. But yeah, I think he's super cute and hopefully someone will want him this time around. I think I have him listed for $25 or $28 with shipping included. This is a super adorable salt shaker. It's just the salt shaker that I'm selling here. Has both puppies and kitties on it. It's just really cute, very 1980s it looks like. And it does have the S cut out on the top. I feel like it's okay selling just a salt shaker because I feel like that's what we use most often anyway. And it's just nice to have. So, you know, by the stove top when you're trying to add it to your pasta water or whatnot. It's a nice thing to have for that, and this guy should go for about $10 with shipping included. I hope this video brought you some entertainment while we are social distancing and mostly staying home right now. I know it's difficult. It's hard, you know, finding things to do and keep your mind busy, trying not to think about the situation on hand, because if you think about it too much, you go a little crazy and, you know, start getting anxiety and stuff like that. So you try to stay busy, right? So I'm hoping this helped. I try to have a little bit of fun with it, asking some questions and stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. I saw this thing the other day. It was like a quote. I'm not sure who said it, but I really liked it. So I wanted to share it with you. The quote said, we isolate ourselves now so when we get back together no one is missing i thought that was a very powerful statement i know people are getting frustrating having to stay home right now for so long until the end of april i think we're going to right now and you know it's just for the greater good i have no problem doing it i know it's hard you know challenging finding things to stay occupied with right now but you have things like youtube and you know television and you can you know, maybe get a cookbook that you've been putting off and seeing, you know, experimenting with some recipes. There's all kinds of things we can, you know, do right now. So I think we can get through it and it really is for the greater good. So I hope you guys are following the guidelines and staying home as much as possible. My husband is an essential worker, so I'm sure there are some of you guys that are as well. And I know the difficulties behind that, the worry that comes with that, having them come home, you know, every day from being exposed to it. But, you know, we have him head right to the shower, throw all of his laundry right into the washer when he gets home. And we're trying our best to avoid it as well. So we have to do what we have to do. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Everything you saw is available in my Etsy or eBay stores. Both are linked down below. I hope you're all being safe and doing well. And we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.